Hi, good morning and welcome to the day's products in focus. Uh, US equity markets actually ended the session in quite negative territory yesterday as there was a late sell off after the uh, the Apple uh, results came out. Um, not due to Apple, of course, but just uh, a little bit of selling pressure there towards the end of the session. Uh, more um, information coming out of San Francisco um, from uh, Fed members there, uh, highlighting that even um, even the previous paper was not quite bullish enough in regards to, to U.S. interest rates uh, potentially rising. They're, they they reckon that is going to be around about September rather than even December, the end of the year. So that's had a bit of a negative impact on U.S. equities. Um, the dollar was already quite rampant anyway, but you know dollar yen is still shooting through the roof. Um, but we are coming quite close to potential support now at 69.69 on the US 30. Moving on to the UK 100, um, not really a huge amount of action there. Obviously, we had such a volatile session there on Monday. Uh, still trading below the potential uh, support 68.32 now, acting as potential resistance. Next potential support would be 67.74. Um, crossover on the MACD, uh, you've got a sell signal in the RSI and the slow stochastic there as well. So there, from a technical perspective, there is a little bit of pressure on here. And uh, I can see the Germany 30 is getting hit quite hard this morning as well. So moving on to uh, Japan 225, it's going to be quite well supported by dollar yen shooting up, hitting I think it's eight year highs now. Um, it's doing really well just now in fact. Uh, but we are really challenging to break through 15.828. Um, though it's got to be said, if we do get a break and close above that, 59.87, uh, it's probably just going to be a formality here. This was a, actually, that's actually a very strategic level there. That was all the way back in, in May last year. Um, that would be a, a, an interesting level, but we've not broken it yet. But the way that dollar yen is going right now, if we just move on to that, look at this trend. It's absolutely catapulted through there, still going great guns. Uh, and as we mentioned, the, the actual next potential uh, resistance levels at 110 spot 77 so we've got a long way to go um, but this is looking very encouraging and obviously if the uh, if the rhetoric continues about stronger uh, likelihood of early rate rises in the US um, you know this is just going to go to the moon and back um, but it is very overextended at the moment um, you know the technical indicators here are all vastly overbought um, but you know the signal to sell has not been given yet certainly the fundamentals are encouraging but just be wary that if there is any sell-off it's probably likely to be quite uh, sharp and steep so moving on to crude oil west texas we are bouncing around 93 um, 0.38 uh, 92 spot 85 is the next potential support long the candle yesterday indicative of selling pressure this is just the birth of the of a it's kind of a short leg, leg candle still negative 92 spot 85 is the next potential support uh, followed by uh, 91 spot 25 so I'm actually going to put that on there just now um, I think that's quite a clear level to look at after that it is $89 um, but yeah, it's uh, it's following a very traditional pattern: down, uh, downtrend, upswing, downtrend, upswing, downtrend, upswing. Just be careful of the levels there as ever uh, of bounce. Um, still big question marks over long-term global demand. So gold um, still hugging the bottom of this potential channel that we've got uh, drawn on here. Um, nothing really too exciting to report on, on here. 1267 is a potential uh, resistance. As dollar sentiment increases, likelihood of US rates increasing, pressure will remain on gold. So moving on to uh, euro dollar, a uh, bit of a bounce back yesterday actually, perhaps a little bit of short covering more so than anything else. There's nothing really drastically amazing coming out of the eurozone and um, the sentiment on the dollar is actually quite quite positive. So um, I'd be very surprised if we saw you know a massive jump to the upside, but one spot 30 zero, zero is a potential resistance should that happen. Obviously, one spot 27, 60, uh, 46 is the longer term potential support. Um, I, I, I could easily imagine it being a slow grind uh, over the next couple of sessions, but you know we'll see what other economic data is due out. Pressure remains. GBP USD had that similar bounce as well. Uh, you know we're not a million miles away from. We got down to one spot 60, 63. Uh, and that's not a million, million miles away from the psychological one spot 60, 00. zero. So um, we've had a bit of a bounce this morning. It's not really uh, managed to capitalize on, a, on any potential upside right there. Um, the fundamentals here are, are still pretty uh, pretty weak for cable uh, and the dollar is, is still looking quite good. So um, 
just be wary of uh, getting quite close to these levels. There could be some more short covering on the way back down. Um, but after one spot of 60, you do have one spot of 59.17 as the next potential support level to be aware of. So economic data wise, nothing hugely significant today apart from crude oil inventories, which would be useful for West Texas crude and Brent. And if we fast forward on to Thursday, a whole bunch of uh, Chinese CPI and PPI data followed by jobless claims at 1.30, all of which are significant, but the Chinese data is 2.30 a.m. UK time. Um, jobless claims will be keenly watched, uh, cable, euro dollar, etc., etc. Um, look at chart form as ever, make insights part of your layout, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.